Day 79. Packing up belongings. Wow, I put all of his stuff. Everything I find, I keep putting on my desk. I hear a plane. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah, uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere, and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. <laughs> oh boy. So let's, uh, put that away for a second. Did we type anything else? Reliable observant. Site reports know too much. Delilah lying? Do other copies exist? We're just gonna leave this tape here? Yeah, I feel like we're gonna keep that tape. Yeah, we're definitely taking the whiskey. We're <laughs> definitely saving the whiskey for later. Papers. Tracking device. I feel like I want to keep the tracking device, too. Goodwin's under surveillance, too? Brian dead. Why? Why? Missing persons. <laughs> Just gonna leave all this stuff here. Alright. I'm leaving that. Shouldn't have been wearing that in the first place. Wow, it's... Pretty bad out here. Where are the two fires? I feel like I'm just gonna keep playing. I feel like I must be pretty close to the end of this game. Not really sure, but I know I've heard it's a very short game. Over this way. I hear a plane, but I don't see a plane. Man, it's pretty, uh... It's pretty fiery out here. Take a granola bar. Eating the granola bar. It's 
game's taking a weird turn. I feel like it's just taking a weird turn. I don't, it, it doesn't feel like it's ending. It feels like it's about to take a turn for some other direction. Maybe this is the midpoint of the game. I don't know where I'm going. I feel like I... What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Definitely getting closer. Oh, it's not letting me run now. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it's a toggle. I keep forgetting the run is a toggle. Uh huh. There's an arrow. Henry. Cassette tape. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Taking the tape. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. You need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Wait, I need to go up the rope, though. I'm supposed to go up the rope. I'm going up the rope. 
I want to see what's up here. My dog is really bugging me right now for some reason. Why am I going up here? I don't... Helicopter? I hear it, but don't see it. Danger! Improvised hatch. Is this his, uh, his site? His hideout? Teen magazines, Father's Day cards. Wizards and Wyverns role playing game. Oh man. Brian was a nice looking kid. Just some of Brian's stuff. He held on to some of Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Subject Delilah A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping this stuff. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. <laughs> I bet. I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed. This feels like... I feel like my, uh... <laughs> I feel like I was... I was giving this story way more credit than it... than it deserved. I thought it was building to some, you know... some great, uh... delusional thing or something, but it's... apparently it's not. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Oh, I forgot the picture stuff. <laughs> how do we take a picture? I have no idea how to take a picture. Completely forgot. Uh, hold on, I gotta get the controls. Uh, controls, key bindings, climb, use, move, compass, flashlight, C for camera. Uh, I should have just tried C. Alright, here we go, taking pictures. Can we zoom in? No, nope, no zooming in. <laughs> I haven't been taking any pictures of anything. Alright, that's enough pictures. This boombox looks familiar. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. I'm just, I'm sort of taken aback that the, the story was kind of, uh, 
surface level. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. What is the sound I'm hearing? He had quite the view. Doesn't seem that great. I guess, is that the sound of his wind chimes there? They sound pretty uh, beat up. Doesn't look like that great of a view to me. It just looks like a view of some trees. A lot of trees, that's all we see there. Radio log. Stakes too high. No one will believe B was happy. Make D plus 2F less believable. 2F crazy? Like wife? Not a good guy. Mama Grizz back. They heard me. Fully believe there is a, a program. Use this. Reports final. Make sure they find them. 2F almost caught me at sight. Reports worked. Two forks? Is that what 2F means? Recorded call. Use for leverage. 2F found supplies. Key's gone. Can't let 2F find B. B is Brian. Yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna keep all these. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta keep this stuff for evidence. To prove our innocence. Anything else? What is he reading? Steven's room. Howard Crothers. Well, I mean, I guess there's nothing else to look at in here. Sleeping bag from the teen's campsite? Well, I guess we're out of here. A pile of trash. So what's our plan now? Hike north to the thoroughfare. Okay, so where are we now? We're at the bunker. Wow, okay, we got a long way to hike to get out of here. Evac point. Here we go. We are heading north to an evacuation site, but I guess I have to climb down the rope for first before I can do that. I wonder if there's any uh, time pressure here, or do I just have all day... To, to make this stroll through the burning forest. Am I in danger because I took the time to look at this guy's house instead of this guy's bunker instead of uh, going to safety? Why would he... Why would he leave the stuff out? Uh, make a lot of sense. Alright, so let's go... I guess we'll head south, and then head east. So we'll go south a little bit, and then we'll turn to the left to head east, which should take us back past two forks, and then we can head north from there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what I think about this game now. I feel like I was having more fun trying to guess the this, this secret hidden meaning of the story. It just never occurred to me that it would be, you know, just... finding a kid's body and confronting his father. That's just never, <laughs> it never even crossed my radar as... No, I should be relieved. Relieved 
that there's no evidence of us starting that fire, relieved that we're not crazy, that there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. It was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> he? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. One more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah? I mean, it's dangerous here, and, and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me, so... said it was. All right, um, I should go. Have a safe flight. All right, have a safe hike. I mean, that just seems like the sensible thing to do. Man, I have to go through this cave again? Ugh. Again with the cave. Everything goes through the cave all the time. Man, I can't believe Delilah just left me. <laughs> Who am I supposed to talk to now? For the rest of the trip. Maybe I can talk to the... To Ned now. Alright, here's the cave. So we don't go through the gate, we go through this way. Turn on the flashlight, don't really need to. There's a lot of planes flying around. Alright, so we're heading north. And then we're gonna go up there past all those uh Telephone poles that we went over before. Telephone poles. What did I say? I said telephone something. I think I said telephone poles. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, I'm suddenly heading east. I'm trying to go north, not. Oops, wrong key. Okay, so it bends northeast and then it starts going north. Got it. I thought there was something painted on that rock for a second. There's a lot of walking around in this game. Music change. Is that what this sad music means? 
Ah. Still heading north, northwest. Again, this is a dead end, isn't it? I remember that being a dead end. And I still went there anyway. I'm getting rid of the pine cones. Those pine cones are always all over the place. Okay, I went the wrong way. I should not have gone this way. I should have gone around the other way. I remember now I had the same problem before. Deliver, I'm lost. No, no, no. Just follow the path. Delilah, you abandoned me. Now I'm heading southwest. What? going to turn north. I don't remember seeing a tram up here before. Thoroughfare supply drop. Is that where I'm going? To the supply drop and then north east from the supply drop. So this way. Ah, there's the tram. There's Delilah's lookout. Made it. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? Uh, she left. Remember? We told her to go. Yep. Oh boy, that looks dangerous. <sighs> Fade to black. Roll credits. Nope, there's more. Oh, is that Delilah's lookout? Oh, let's go check out Delilah's lookout. What secrets is she hiding? Slippers. Dish soap. Her place is much cleaner than mine. Wildland fire danger rating. Oh, she drew a picture of a uh, of me. Ha! <laughs> Henry, what we know. White. Two shorts. 
<laughs> uh, we're keeping that. Tequila. Yeah, we're keeping that too. She drew bears and magnificent frigate bird, osprey, wood stork. What? What is any of that? Fireline Handbook. There's a radio. Crossword puzzles. A book. Lucian's Gambit. Hey, I think I had that book too. There's the bottle of tequila she drank before. Radio headset. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Well, yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, uh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. She won't even recognize me, Delilah. You're not just going for her. You don't know what it's like. <sighs> Bad things happen, okay? And you have to... You have to find a way to contain the damage. A good way. Well, hopefully I can figure out a way to do that. Yeah, I hope so. God, this got dark. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, there's the helicopter. Good. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. You keep it for yourself. Bye, Hank. Hey, don't call me Hank. Guess we gotta go down there. Is 
gonna explode. Now roll credits. A video game by Campo Santo. Achievement unlocked. Firewatch. Produced in cooperation with Panic Inc. Is this a copyrighted song? This sounds like a copyrighted song. Well, that was a pretty good game. Um... Is it going to show me the pictures I took? I I only took a few. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Showing you the pictures that you took at the end. I didn't take very many pictures. I, I forgot that I had the camera for most of the time. So I'm going to have to probably uh, mute out the game sound here at the end, so you're probably not hearing the song that is playing over these end credits. It's like an old R&B song. Oh my god. Is that a picture of Ned? Oh, wow. Is there going to be a picture of Brian at the end? Nope, it's a, just a picture of nothing. Oh. Who's that? Oh, that was a picture of Henry with the beard, I think. Oh, that's right, because I said I had a beard. There's Brian. Oh, oh, Brian. Ned and Brian. Oh. I'd Rather Go Blind, performed by Etta James. That's the song that you're not hearing now. And there was another song in there too that I might have to mute out at some point probably at the beginning of the game well that was Firewatch there are special features too which I I haven't uh, haven't done I'm curious about this Firewatch audio tour but uh, I'll do that some other time maybe Cool game. But man, the story did not turn out anything like I was expecting. I was thinking there was going to be like a, you know, like two or three layers deep of meaning. And, you know, I was, <laughs> I was thinking, I had all these crazy ideas that, you know, I was the one suffering from dementia. And this whole Firewatch thing, was, it was all a delusion in my head. <laughs> and <laughs> but it was nothing like that. It was just, it was exactly the way it was laid out for us there was there was no twist at the end at all it was pretty straightforward all right well that was firewatch pretty cool story as a game it was kind of dull because it was basically just walking around clicking on things but uh it was a cool story that was a good story i wonder how much different you can make the story from different choices it didn't really feel like there was a lot of room for variance in there, but I don't know. Who knows? All right, that's it for Firewatch. See you later.